Hi everybody, I am Griswel and today I am going to talk about high performance HMIs. So the agenda for today is first I am going to explain how are the HMIs now. After that we will talk about how is a high performance HMI. Then I will explain how to do a high performance HMI using a dashboard and we will have to ask ourselves if this is the new way of visualizing operational data. And finally, I will do a short recap. So the HMIs now. Back in the old days, the people who designed the HMIs did the best they could with the resources they had. So today we have HMIs that have too many colors, they have also unnecessary graphics, and all of this can be visual distractions for the operators because they have to study the screen all the time trying to find out if something is right or wrong. At the end, the data represented in the screen is very difficult to understand. So all of this leads to poor operating conditions because the operators will not understand what's happening in the process uh, very quickly and that will make it difficult for them to act when something is going wrong. The, we have the improvement number one, which is the ISA 101, that is the human machine interfaces and that is the standards and recommended, recommended practices to build high performance HMI. So the first thing you will notice when you are in front of the high performance HMI is that now everything is in a gray scale uh, colors. And then let's talk about uh, some of the improvements uh, we have now. So for example, now the information it's in the screen in its context. So let's take these indicators. The indicators show the information about how the process is now in its context because when a value is inside this range, which is the desired values, then everything is good. But for the operator, it's very easy to see that something is going wrong in this value. It's too low, so uh, they can act quickly to see what's going on in the process. Then we also have the descriptive text with colors. This is important um, because some people in the plant floor can be color blind. And then for them, it's too difficult to understand and associate the colors with the right um, alarms in the system. So for them, we have also uh, added descriptive text in the screen and this is also important when environmental uh, issues can cause that the screen won't look the way we want. Then uh, we have the colors in the screen. So the colors in the screen for the high performance HMI are used to, to indicate at normal situations. So it's very quickly for the user to know what's going on in the screen. In this example, we have this indicator and we have this indicator. So when the operator looks at the screen, it can almost instantly see that something is calling their attention. Then we have the trends for quick overview of the historical data. So in this case, you can see that this trend is inside the blue frame. That means again that it is inside the desired values. Everything is right here. But then we can see here that the trend goes up and down and it goes out of the desired value. So we can see that for this process value, something is not, um, is not right. We can see the same for this tank. So basically a high performance HMI will look more or less like this. And then the idea with this is that the operator can quickly see when something it needs attention in the screen and they can act quickly. All right, so now let's talk about the benefits of the high performance HMI. First of all, it's more functional because now uh, the data comes like information. So it's an 
information driven operator interface so now we don't have that many uh, data in the screen but rather we have the information that is important for the operator to act quickly it's a and therefore it's a easy to understand screen so that's all good we have high performance HMI now and then I have some questions so what can we do about this HMI is that still tries to mimic the P and ID diagrams because when we have this we have to build windows for each process area but these windows will contain for example pipes which make it difficult for um, for the solution to resize and adapt to different screen sizes so all in all that is not very flexible that's why Today, I want to show you um, this solution. So let's take this solution as a high performance HMI. All right, so here we have now a demo of a brewing process for a high performance HMI. As you can see in the screen, we will have uh, descriptions with process values in bold blue. We also have uh, some symbols to indicate components so we don't have graphics uh, or this kind of decoration anymore and you can see that um, there is a red frame here to indicate that this motor has an alarm so all in all this um, HMI will uh, be very easy to understand for the operator so at this point now we have the improvement number two which is the NUDA customizable dashboard in this case we have the same brewing process I just explained but it's built in a different way so let's take a look at that let's take um, the high performance HMI we saw previously and divide that process in sections so when you have done that, now you can build widgets. And this uh, screen is built using widgets in a dashboard component. So the first thing you will notice is that we have here a dashboard component that it can be um, customized. But we also have this part, which is not customizable. So the first thing here is that you can build your HMI to have one part that can be customizable and one part that will always have the same widgets. So the benefit about having widgets is that you can build different widgets for each process area. And after that, you will have a complete set of widgets that you can use for combining things in your screen good so after you divided your process in sections and after you built all your widgets then comes the solution about how to customize this dashboard so in first place you can customize dashboards by users but you can also add more things like roles factories etc so um, now, in the in the edit button of the dashboard, we can see that we have a list of widgets. Right now, for this uh, demo, we don't uh, customize it, but let's think that this is your um, factory, your plant floor, and all of these are the widgets of your process area. So you can customize this dashboard the way that when a user logs in and goes to this list they will only find the widgets that they are uh, able to see or that that uh, have the required role permissions to see so uh, i as a user a can see one set of widgets in the list but another user with another role can see a different set of widgets and can actually put them in the screen. So one user can customize their dashboard, not only with the widgets they want to see, but they can rearrange 
the screens to have the widgets where they need or where they want to see them. For example, as you can see, when I move a widget here, all the other widgets can be also rearranged. It is important to say that widgets in the screen can have different information. They can have uh, process values, they can have symbols, they can have charts, graphs, videos, documents, tables. One widget uh, can have any kind of information you need to put in the screen. With this approach, you will be able to have one dashboard instead of multiple screens. And let's say users um, with different roles, they can have different set of widgets in the screen, but also they can combine the widgets in different ways based on the roles they have. It is a solution that can be resizable, can fit uh, to different screen sizes. Um, it can also fit uh, iPad size. So this solution is much more flexible and it's also reusable because it is the user who is going to build their own dashboard. So you have a set of dashboards that users can use to build the dashboard the way they need. So in this sense, it's the user who can decide what they want to see in the screen. It's also uh, important to say that changes made by the user will be saved in the database. This dashboard solution works together with a database solution that will save all the information for different users and so they can uh, have the same dashboard the next time they log in. There is also um, a pre-configured dashboard for each role that users can have at any time if they decide they want to, to, to see the, the predefined uh, dashboard. All right, so the, the benefits or one of the benefits, as I just mentioned, is having this information in the database that gives us a lot of flexibility when we want to, to customize it because it can be by users, roles, factories, and any other filter that you want to add. It's um, very, very important that changes uh, made by the user are saved um, instantly in the database. Uh, as I just said, uh, there is a predefined uh, dashboard configuration for each user, for each role. And then if a user uh, customize its dashboard, but they don't like it anymore, then they can go back to the predefined uh, dashboard. And this database solution, it's also important because this is information that can also be um, exported, let's say, to other systems. So all in all, other, other system can also have access to this information. Good, so uh, benefits of this solution with the dashboard is that, well, first of all, you have uh, widgets for each uh, section that can be process areas, face plays, KPIs, alarms, videos, uh, MES, ERP, any kind of information you need to have in the screen. Then uh, you can combine widgets in the dashboard component. And let's see three ways you can do that. So you can combine widgets from different hierarchy levels. As you know, in the high performance HMIs, we have different uh, levels that we can access through navigation. So with the widgets, uh, we can also have uh, widgets from different levels in the same dashboard. Then we can also have um, widgets from different process areas. So uh, let's say I am an administrator and I can have or I want to have widgets uh, from different factories in the screen. That's also possible. And uh, we can also have widgets from different process areas in the screen. So this is a, a very flexible solution because we can have the information we need in the screen whenever we want. So finally, uh, let's recap. So 
Mm, with this solution, we achieve uh, some important improvements, like the democratization of knowledge, because the users can have the information they need, where they need it, and when they need it. That also empowers the users to do uh, their job in an easier way. And the solution is very flexible because the users have only the information they need at the moment and not a lot of information that is cluttering uh, the screen. So that's everything I have today for high performance HMIs. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon.